All right, let's huddle up for the two-minute drill and hand out some helmet stickers alongside Colin Davies and Aiden Crowley. I'm Michael Gross. Thanks again for joining us on Home Team Friday. You got it. First, they are. we're in kind of almost the holiday spirit. We've got the green already, so Owensboro Catholic, a really good team. Yeah, they have absolutely flown by this regular season. I wrote down some numbers because I didn't really want to mess this up. They're outscoring opponents 483 to 83 this season in their perfect regular season. They'll get Crittenden County in their first round playoff matchup. This is a wagon right now that no team wants to get in front of. That's a 400 point margin. <laughs> they still beat every team by 10 or more yes, points. Yes, I know. We're still on. All the way. Got to get that state championship in order for that to still be on. Sure, you got another but, one. Yeah, I'm going to go to another green team. I'm going to go with the North Huskies. After a little bit of a shaky regular season, they bounced back and win big to go to to sectional championship game. Can't wait for that one in 5A for sure. Yeah, heavy favorites against New Albany. They still took care of yes. business. That's the important part. Speaking of taking care of business, it was not easy for Memorial, but they were able to do it. I mean, They're there's like almost spots. no more space here. I'm going <laughs> to put it right up here near the crowd. I mean, they just ran through them in the second half. Uh, another touchdown from Matthew Fisher. A beautiful ball to Luke Ellsperman in, in the back. The uh, Jacob Lively strip sack there, which it happens to be one of our top play nominees. Let's get to it right now. Justin Leathers running the ball in the first drive of the game, and Jacob Lively pulling it right from his arms, scurrying to the end zone all the way home. If you want to go online to vote starting tomorrow for the play of the night, head online to tristeenhomepage.com. Before we get to some of the things we got to look out for for next week, we got to look at one more thing from this week. We mentioned it before. Are these not the coolest <laughs> kicks ever? Max Johnson, right? Apollo. Max yeah. Johnson, yeah. Apollo quarterback. Props to you. And whoever is yeah. designing these, please give me that contact. I'd like to come on next week with, like, Two different pairs of shoes. I was gonna. I was gonna colors. ask. Does a teammate wear the inverse of this? Oh, does you know one what? have yeah, the red? Maybe, we might have, same we might have to just all three of us do do yeah. like some sort of coordination <laughs> there for all of it. All right, let's go look at something to look out for for next week, and this is the big one, guys. There's not much bigger than this. I think the three of us believe that the 3A state champion comes from the winner of this game, no matter who it is. Yeah, both of these teams have been battle tested throughout the year. I'm just, I'm not sure what way this is going to go. We saw in the first half that Memorial struggled a little bit against South. There's sure. only 10 nothing at half. Heritage Hills was down at half, I believe, the Vincennes Lincoln. So both, but they both rallied in the second right. half. They went back to dominating the competition. I really do not know who's going to come out on top of this one. I would give a slight edge to Memorial, but I, think I, so I really too. don't know. And, and if you think back to that 2000 team where Jay Cutler won it with Heritage Hills, he was a great quarterback. Jack Goldsberry, we've been making this comparison yeah. for the last couple of years since he started as a sophomore, also a great quarterback. Yeah, and he can do it all on the ground and through the air. We saw the laser beam that he threw over the middle earlier, obviously showing off that arm skill. But when he gets out of the pocket, he's just so dangerous. Memorial has to find a way to slow him down. Nobody's figured it out yet, but <laughs> we'll see if they can, you know, crack the code. I've asked every coach in the tri-state that's had to come across Jack Goldsberry and Heritage Hills, how do you stop Jack Goldsberry? All of them have said, you can't. If you figure it out, let me know, because it's almost impossible. Although, stopping Memorial at the current moment, also really difficult. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I genuinely, it's, it's very, there's few high school football games that are genuine toss-ups. I think this sure. is one. They went into this game uh, against Vincent Lincoln, averaging nearly 38 points a game. I mean, that's, that's how dominant their offense has been. We'll have all eyes on that one. Thank you for having all eyes on this one tonight. Join us next week for more thrilling high school football for Colin Davies, Aiden Crowley, and our entire Eyewitness News crew. I'm Michael Gross. We'll see you next time on Home Team Friday.